You know what the right thing is, and just do it. I want to ask you, in an interview with MSNBC this week, you were asked a question about how President Trump has these intimidation tactics, how he seemed to stand too close to Hillary Clinton during the debates. You were asked how you would respond <laughs> if you did that. Take a listen. Yes, sir. You'd have to pick him up off the floor. If he ever came over and leaned on me and got in my space, that would be the last time Donald Trump ever did that. I promise you that. So that does sound that you're saying that if he came too close to you, you would use physical violence. Was well, the way Chris had set it up, got in your space, intimidated, Godzilla-like tactics leaning on top of you. I, I answered the question like I think most folks would actually answer the question. I didn't say punch. Maybe if I had to push him back gently and he fell down on his own, right? But the, the point of this is... I'm sick and tired of Donald Trump attacking everybody, women, everybody, um, gold star families. He intimidates people, and people need to stand up and punch him back, punch him back rhetorically. Enough is enough. He gets away with all of this foolishness. I just saw a story the other day. 2,000 statements that he has made since he's been president have been just out-and-out out lies. Are you gonna, enough is enough. Are you going to challenge him in 2020? What I'm going to do this year... 36 governors are going to take a big lead. I'm doing a big project on redistricting. Though That will be my focus on 18, and we'll see what happens after that. But could you imagine, you know, hypothetically, if that ever happened, you'd have to sell tickets to that debate. That would be, uh, <laughs> that would be enjoyable. Yeah. But you're, I'm focused I, on this. But you're focused on that, but you're thinking about a debate with President Trump. You well, just, I think, just, I think everybody sits around dreams about a debate of President Trump and how much fun that could actually be. The truth, get the truth out there and let the facts speak for themselves. Okay. I'm not going to qualify this as you throwing your hat in the ring, but, but there's a hat there. Governor, um, <laughs> Governor McAuliffe, thank you so much. Thank I really you, appreciate Jay. your being here. It's been three days.